Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever thought about whether some seemingly harmless individuals could be introducing negative energy into your home? Consider this, without your awareness, you might be permitting elements that disrupt your peace, undermine your prosperity, and even jeopardize your spiritual well-being to enter your living space. Padre Pio, a highly esteemed figure and one of the most influential saints, had a profound grasp of the spiritual dynamics in our lives. He cautioned that certain presences could create openings for evil and emphasized the importance of being careful about whom we invite into our homes. At this moment, type the following in the comments, Padre Pio, keep negative people out of my life, but who are these individuals we should steer clear of, and why do they possess the ability to negatively affect our home atmosphere? In this video, we will explore Padre Pio's warnings regarding three types of people that should never be welcomed into your home. Let's uncover the reasoning behind this guidance and how it can significantly impact both your life and that of your loved ones. By the end of this video, you'll be better equipped to shield your home and soul from unwelcome energies and negative spiritual influences. Please don't keep this information to yourself, share it out widely. Therefore, I encourage you to watch until the end, as the insights we unveil here could transform your perspective on personal relationships and your living space. This is more than a mere warning, it's a shift in viewpoint that can profoundly affect your life. Prepare yourself to discover insights that could influence your daily choices and ensure your home remains a sanctuary, impervious to negative forces that often hide behind familiar faces and benign behaviors. The wisdom derived from a saint like Padre Pio is a true spiritual gem. He not only alerts us, but empowers us to act in order to safeguard what is most sacred our home and inner peace. If you cherish the tranquility of your home and want to keep it free from harmful spiritual influences, this video is essential for you. Every moment of this content is crucial for you to grasp how to recognize and avoid these presences that could be undermining your happiness and well-being without your realization. What you learn today could forever alter the way you perceive those around you and, more importantly, how you decide who enters your most private space. Let's uncover these truths together and ensure your home remains a protected haven. Now, let's discuss the first type of individual, the person of doubtful faith. Padre Pio consistently highlighted that faith serves as our first line of defense against malevolent forces. He strongly believed that a blessed home functions as a spiritual fortress, where the divine presence flourishes and negative influences are kept at bay. However, this protection can falter when you allow someone with shaky or unsteady faith into your home. Those lacking firm belief or who continuously question or mock the faith may inadvertently create an atmosphere of doubt, skepticism and negativity. These individuals, even without malicious intent, can create openings for unwelcome spiritual influences, compromising your home's spiritual shield. Doubt is like a seed. If it takes root in a sacred environment, it can grow and suffocate serenity and harmony. Padre Pio viewed unshakable faith as a protective barrier, and any crack in that barrier can permit forces that threaten the spiritual well-being of everyone living there. It's vital to remember that faith is not solely a personal matter. It also generates collective energy that permeates the surroundings. When someone with wavering faith enters your sacred space, they may unintentionally transfer their uncertainties and hesitations, creating a heavy, discordant atmosphere. This influence may be subtle, yet its repercussions can manifest in various ways, from increased tension and conflict to a pervasive feeling of discomfort that appears out of nowhere. Right now, consider if there's someone in your life who consistently brings negative energy. Exercise caution and protect yourself with fervent prayer. Daily prayers are essential, or else your life could be at significant risk. If you seek divine protection, download the ebook The Power of Padre Pio, which contains prayers for all occasions. If you wish to live a life surrounded by divine protection, 
Click the link in the first pinned comment and download the power of Podre PO immediately. An actual example illustrating this scenario involves a family who, out of compassion, decided to host a friend who had strayed from the faith and grown skeptical about all things related to religion and spirituality. Soon after, the family began to observe unsettling changes in their home. Once a peaceful and harmonious environment, their space turned into one marked by constant arguments and discomfort. The tranquility they had always cherished vanished. Concerned, they sought guidance from a priest who warned them about the potential spiritual influence their skeptical friend could have on their household. The priest advised the family to strengthen their home's spiritual protection through regular prayer and to reassess who they permitted into their living space. After implementing this guidance, the family noticed an immediate transformation in their home's atmosphere. The peace they thought was lost returned, and the environment once again became a sanctuary of serenity and spiritual safety. This situation illustrates how the presence of someone with questionable faith can profoundly influence a home's energy, underscoring the importance of being selective about who we allow into our most intimate spaces. The second type of person to avoid is one who carries resentment. Padre P.O. frequently cautioned against the danger of allowing individuals who harbor resentment into our homes. Resentment is a deep spiritual wound that, if left unhealed, can escalate into even more destructive feelings like hatred and bitterness. This negative energy, often silent, possesses incredible power and can spread insidiously, contaminating the environment and affecting everyone living under the same roof. When someone with unresolved resentment enters your home, it's akin to allowing a dark cloud to hang overhead. This energy can take root in the hearts of those residing there, resulting in inexplicable tensions, frequent conflicts, and an overall feeling of discomfort with no apparent cause. Padre Pio firmly believed that these negative emotions could open the door to spiritual influences that disrupt the peace and harmony of any setting. According to Padre Pio, resentment is one of the most dangerous emotions one can harbor, affecting not just the individual, but also those around them. He taught that before opening the doors of your home to anyone, it was vital to assess whether that person carries hurts or grudges that could transform the family environment into an emotional battleground. The negativity emanating from such individuals may be subtle, but its effects can be devastating, creating divisions, igniting arguments, and eroding the peace we cherish. Padre Pio consistently recommended reflecting on the emotional and spiritual state of a visitor before welcoming them into one's home. If there are indications that the individual is surrounded by feelings of resentment or hurt, it's wise to maintain a certain distance until they heal from their emotional wounds. Safeguarding the peace and tranquility of your home should always take precedence. It was only after speaking with a priest that the woman understood the negative influence her friend's resentment was exerting on her family. With the guidance she received, she made the tough choice to help her friend find another place to stay, initiating a period of prayer and blessings in her home. Shortly thereafter, harmony was restored and peace reigned once again. The impact of envy can be devastating and profoundly detrimental to the harmony of your household. Jealous individuals often possess a subtle yet perilous inclination to spread rumors, foster harmful comparisons, and, most alarmingly, open the door to negative spiritual forces. This negative energy can infiltrate your home almost unnoticed creating an atmosphere of tension and unease that gradually erodes the peace and joy you cherish. Envy operates like a spiritual contagion silence, yet highly infectious capable of wreaking havoc not only in the lives of those who are envious, but also in the lives of those in their vicinity. Padre Pio frequently cautioned about the threats posed by envy and how it can become a gateway from malevolent forces. He perceived envy as a manifestation of profound spiritual discontent, capable of attracting adverse influences that affect not just the envious individual, but also their immediate social circle. Allowing someone with envy into your home is akin to letting a venomous snake 
slither into your sacred space. The negativity they introduce can insidiously poison relationships, create rifts, spark conflicts, and even draw financial troubles and other unexpected misfortunes. Therefore, it is vital to meticulously assess the intentions and emotional states of those you invite into your home. Envy, no matter how cleverly concealed, can be detected through subtle indicators derogatory remarks, disdainful expressions regarding your achievements, or even a tone that implies discomfort with your success or happiness. Recognizing these signs and acting judiciously is essential to safeguarding your home and loved ones. Gradually, the challenges diminished and prosperity returned to his life. Throughout his ministry, Padre Pio served as a beacon of wisdom and spiritual insight. His profound connection to the divine allowed him to perceive beyond the surface, discerning the subtle influences of negative energies that can affect our lives in ways we often overlook. Through his teachings, he imparted a legacy of spiritual protection, emphasizing the importance of preserving peace and harmony within our homes. For Padre Pio, the home transcended mere physical space. It was a sanctuary of spiritual refuge that required vigilant safeguarding against negative influences. He identified three types of individuals we should never welcome into our homes. Those with questionable faith, those who harbor resentment, and those who are envious. This guidance was not merely practical advice, but a genuine spiritual directive for maintaining the sanctity and tranquility of our households. He understood that the energies we permit into our homes significantly impact not only us, but also our entire family. According to him, a home should be a sanctuary where peace, harmony, and the divine presence can flourish unhindered. However, these qualities can easily be disrupted by individuals who harbor energies and intentions misaligned with goodness. First and foremost, faith stands as one of the crucial foundations for a truly safeguarded home. Padre Pio emphasized that unwavering faith is the first line of defense against malevolent forces. When we allow individuals with wavering faith to enter our homes, we unknowingly compromise this spiritual protection. Doubt, as mentioned, is a dangerous seed that can take root and smother the genuine faith that should nourish the family atmosphere. Individuals who consistently question, mock, or belittle faith, even without ill intent, this atmosphere can eventually open doors to negative spiritual influences, jeopardizing the peace we so deeply value within our homes. He understood that spiritual protection is a vital aspect of daily life, and to maintain this protection, we must be discerning about whom we welcome into our sacred spaces. It is not about rejecting or isolating individuals from our lives, but about recognizing the influence they can exert on our spiritual and emotional health. Remember that your home is essentially a reflection of your soul, and the people you invite into it directly affect the energy and atmosphere that you and your family experience daily. If something seems amiss in your home, it may be time to reassess who you are allowing in. Orphan, the key to restoring peace lies in simply being more selective about whom you admit. Spiritual vigilance is an act of love-love for yourself, your family, and your sacred space. The essence of this message is clear. Protecting our homes extends beyond mere physical barriers. It also necessitates a spiritual defense against negative energies that can infiltrate our lives through seemingly harmless individuals. By being discerning about who we allow into our homes, we ensure the peace, harmony, and protection of all who reside there. Thus, heed Padre Pio's teachings and remain aware of the influences you permit in your life. After all, the peace and serenity of your home are valuable treasures that deserve to be safeguarded at all costs. If you found this content valuable, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with friends and family. Your engagement helps spread this vital message and protects more homes from negative influences. Until next time, may God bless you and your home.